In this tutorial we'll be creating this vibrant glowing text reveal. I've already got the text layer created, now let's get started with the animation. So I'll go down into the drop down menu here and under animate I'm gonna select opacity, go there again, select blur and also select scale. I'll go into my range selector here and I'll set the offset to minus 100. Let's set a keyframe for it and we'll go over to 3 seconds and set this to 100. Now I'll go into my scale here and I'll set it to 150 and on my opacity set it to 0 and the blur to 30. Okay, so now we've got this weird text animation and to make this work we're gonna go into advanced and change the shape from square to ramp up. Now we've got this pretty smooth text reveal and as you can see it's pretty basic but there's one issue here that I don't like which if I disable the blur real quick you can see that our text is actually being scaled from the bottom of each character and I actually want it to go from the center. So a quick fix for this is if we go into more options here under our text layer and we got something called grouping alignment which we can control where the anchor point of each character is set. So let's set this to about here in the center of each one and that way it just scales from the center of each letter. You don't have to do this, but in case you want to go from the center, this is the solution. Okay, let's set the blur back to 30 here. So I've got these three properties here animated by the single animator, but I want to split the opacity from the rest of them. So I can simply duplicate it and just delete the scale and blur from this one. And on my animator 2 now, I'll select the opacity and delete it as well. So now if I hit U to bring up all the keyframes, I can delay the blur and scale just by a couple of frames. So it just reveals the text and then the scale and blur actually happen. Okay, so we've got the basic animation ready. Now let's start creating the gradient colors. I'll create a new solid and we'll call this gradient. Now I'll choose a four color gradient effect to create my colors. Now I've shot this in a previous tutorial, but what I'm gonna do is go into point one here and alt click it and I'll type in wiggle open bracket 0 0.5 comma a thousand. I'll select it all, copy it and I'll paste it into all of these four points here like so. And we basically got all four colors dancing around and I can also set a keyframe for my colors here and move over to about five seconds. And I'm just gonna randomly scroll through the colors here. Let me do this real quick. If I hit you to bring up the keyframes, you can see that we've got this going over through some colors and all of them are sort of dancing around our comp. Now let me drop this down here and I'll duplicate my text layer. This second one will be main and the one below that will be our glow. Now I'll set the gradient we created to be a track mat to our glow layer. So we basically got the gradient within inside this layer. Now if I add a glow effect to this text layer, which is our glow layer, I'll be using deep glow for this. And let me just decrease this a bit here. Set the opacity from zero to 100, about here where it's pretty much animated, so it fades out. Once I play this whole thing together, you can see we've got this nice gradient effect within the text, and I might delay this main layer by a couple of frames. So we see more of the gradient here. You can delay this as much as you want to. But this is basically how you create this effect. Pretty quick and simple. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.